cannot sing or dance, but she's a show business phenomenon. Starting at the age of four, when she performed in vaudeville, she's been a headliner in burlesque, carnivals, and nightclubs. She was a star in the Ziegfeld Follies, had to fling at the movies, acted on television, wrote one play, two novels, and has just completed her memoirs, called appropriately enough Gypsy, to be published by Harper's in May. Miss Lee is also vice president of the Greenwich Village Humane Society. Gypsy Rose Lee and her 12-year-old son, Eric, live in this large house on the fashionable east side of New York when they're not touring the country with Miss Lee's current act. Gypsy, what do you do with your spare time when you're on the road? Oh, I fish. Fish? Yes. Are you a casual or a devoted fisherman? Well, why don't you come upstairs and look at my tackle box and just see if you can judge for yourself, hmm? Fair enough. Eric, darling, would you put away the stamp, sweetheart? We have to go up in the elevator, and it's pretty cold up here, so you better bundle up. <laughs> See, my house is built with one room on each floor. Oh, yes. See, the drawing room is on the first floor. Then uh, the next floor, this is Eric's bedroom that we're passing now. And the next floor is my bedroom. And the library is on the fourth floor. I've given up trying to heat this elevator up. A little cold in here. <laughs> Fourth floor, ladies, uh, cloaks, suits, better dresses, pots, fans. <laughs> <This is, laughs> the dollar too, honey. This is the first time we have been in such a small elevator, Gypsy. <laughs> oh, here's the library. You, you were going to show us your fishing gear? Oh, yes. You can always tell when it's spring, Ed. <laughs> first thing I do is get out the tackle box. Sort of oil the reels and check the flies, see if the moths got in them. First crocus, usually. You know, I used to have a little tackle box, but I found out that I was collecting so many lures that I had to get a big, big one. And look. You did, too. Isn't that beautiful? Just filled with all sorts of goodies. Here, for instance, oh, this is a surferino. Love it. But this, one of my lucky Louis. Oh, look at this, Ed. Uh, you ever fish with these in Puget Sound? Yes, I have indeed. Well, you notice how it works. You see, when, they, when you get a bite, you have four chances here of getting a bite. It pulls down, and he hooks himself. Mm-hmm. He's clever, I think. And here's a river runt, my bug repellent, aspirin. <laughs> oh, dear, I wish I were in a rowboat right now. It's a bucktail. Yeah. Got a lot of beautiful muskies on that. Would you rather fish for muskies or for salmon? Well, I don't know. I love fishing for both of them. I think they're wonderful. But there's something about catching a muskie that's just pretty, well, pretty wonderful, really. What, what happened to the rest of that one? We ate it. <laughs> uh, how do you describe your professional talents, Gypsy? Oh, you mean my theatrical yes. talents? Oh, <laughs> well, not really talents, sir. I'm a performer. Would you like to be an actress? Oh, of course I would, Ed. Every performer wants to be an actress. But, uh... Well, I don't get many opportunities to act. And when I do, if the script is sent to me, I'm usually offered a script where I'm the striptease with a heart of gold, or I spend the second act in the bathtub. I feel as long as I'm going to do that, I might as well do it in a nightclub where I get paid more money. Well, Gypsy, you've been a headliner for something like 20 years now. I'm sure you've had a lot of wonderful experiences, but what do you recall as your worst experience in show business? Well... Oh, there was that time I fell off the runway at Minsky's. Why that? Pretty awful. What do you mean, by that? Why was that so terrible? Ed, have you ever fallen off a runway? No, 